so I stayed uh, uh, at I think at eight I would wake up at eight. Eight. I would wake up, take tea, go back to sleep. Chai. See how life is. Sweet. Maisha London. See life how London. life is sweet. <laughs> <laughs> you take breakfast, you go back to go bed. Go back to sleep. Wake up, take lunch, go back to sleep. Wake up at four. So kuni angali ayi borosi. I'm just trying to remember, hey, this life is good, though. As in, I'm like, I was at my comfort zone. Yes. I never saw life, I never saw life beyond that. It's like I was, nilikuwa nimefunikiwa tu kama hali, see? And I tell you, it's not easy to come out of that. It's not. Some Unless, of us, we came out of there by force, by fire. Hey. But you're forced by hey. thunder. Hey. Hey. I'm looking at you like that and I know myself. I hey. know now. I know. Hmm. I may not be waking up and eating and hey. going back to bed, but I know hmm. I was really comfortable. Because I knew every bill is being paid. Will be com- hey. Then, hey. one morning I woke up. The same, same tea I used to take, I don't want to take. The same, same bread I used to take, I don't want to take. I was like, what is happening to me? Hey, stop smiling. I am smiling because I'm trying to imagine. You it's don't like, know. Yet like you know you know have it. been very busy. Hey. Wait, hey. guys. She does not hmm. know what is happening to the tea. She's not know. tasting anymore. Hey. Yet she knows she had been really busy. Working. Busy. Working. <laughs> Day and night. Hey. Yeah. So like, I was like, huh? what is really not happening? I went to uh, a neighbor. I was like, I'm not feeling okay. She looked at me and she was, we are pregnant. Do you know, I urinated on myself. <laughs> Why? Hey, me. What did you expect? Me. Wait. Pregnant. You had been busy now. I know, Rose. I used to, you know this, Masai Panga. Masai Machete. I used to sleep on it. It was under my mattress. Why? To me, it was normal. Eh? I used to ask him, what is it for? He was like, a man needs security. Wait, oh, you're not the one who had put it there? No, him. He told me, a man needs security. You know how our Kikuyu men say, eh? mm. mm-hmm. So he was like, ah, it's okay, I'm protected. Oh, yes. Yeah, as ah. in it was total security. But one day, he told me, you know, I can make you slices with this. I can slice you up. Yeah. And my kids are watching. Wait. Yeah. He told you that in front of the kids? Mm-hmm. You know, my daughter urinated and she was shivering, shaking all over. But now my problem is, kindly, let my kids be. My kids, okay, for me, it's understandable, eh? As in, I can cope with it. It's understandable if you f- if you fa- fail to love someone the way you love them yeah. before. It's okay. Love love dies. It's okay. We will not kill ourselves yeah. because you stopped loving us. Mm-mm. The question is, what mm-hmm. are you? Why are you? Ha- why would you mistreating the kids? Pushing? Why are you mistreating the kids? Mm-hmm. Because that man, for sure, I can tell that that man is not a good man. A man who would lay threats on the kids and say, I will do something to these kids, you'll find yourself making news. That is not a good man. And he was talking to the kid. He was like, Patiam doesn't Yes, see by me. the way, remember. Yeah. Tell your mom. Mm-hmm. Ile kitu nitawafanyia, my goodness, I was, I was just feeling, I don't know. I was just feeling like it's someone talking some, some shit for lack of a better word, yeah. about my own kids. Mm-hmm. Where would you harm the kids for heaven's sake?
are you? How are you doing? Rose Williams, Kenya. This day, it's a beautiful day that the Lord has made that we may rejoice and be glad in it. So good morning, good afternoon, good evening from wherever you're watching us. So today, I am in another, no, it's not another county. No, we're <laughs> still in my county. But I have come to visit a friend of mine. We've been close for some time. She's going to introduce herself. She has an interesting story, guys. She has been through a lot. So let us just sit down, listen, mm -hmm. and welcome, my dear. Thank you. So tell us, mm -hmm. what's your name and where are you coming from? Okay. <clears throat> my name is uh, Paris. Yes. Mwangi. Um, we're in the same county. Yes, we but are. But from uh, Moranga County. Okay. Yeah. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yes, you come from Moranga County. Yeah, I come from Moranga County. Yes, but yeah. right now we are in Kiambu. Yeah, we are in Kiambu. <laughs> yes, Baba mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, so tell us. Mm -hmm. Um, give us a little bit story of your background check, mm -hmm. and then we now dive into the story. Okay, I was born in Moranga County, mm -hmm. Sagana. That is. Mm -hmm. Uh, then uh, we vacated from Sagana to Moya. Mm -hmm. But before then, I found myself in Nairobi. My mom was living in Nairobi. Okay. So I was living with my grandma. Mm. So she took me to live with my mom in Nairobi. Wow, okay. When I was in uh, class four. Mm. Yeah, mm -hmm. that is how I found myself in Nairobi. In Nairobi. Yeah. Okay. So when I went there, first I joined uh, an academy, like for... For three, four months, mm -hmm. then it was closed down. Mm -hmm. So we had to look for another school. Mm. I went there for like three, three years. Okay. Then another. It was the school was down. closed. So the third one, that is where I did my KCPE. Mm -hmm. Thank God, finally I did my KCPE. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. Yes. So the challenge was joining high school. Little challenge, yes, but <clears throat> what was the challenge? The challenge was about the school fees, the it school was fees. hard to, to raise the school fees because I remember I didn't even report to the school with the school uniform at first. Wow, yeah, I went with my civilian clothes, but later we managed, mm -hmm. we bought the school uniform mm. like kidogo kidogo. So at least them. the school they accommodated you, yeah, yeah, home clothes. It, ilikuwa, it was. A, pub, a community school. Okay, okay. Yeah, it was a community school. So you are being accommodated just the way you are. All right. Yeah. So I went there like form one, form two. Then I dropped again due to lack of school fees. Mm -hmm. I stayed uh, like three months. Mm -hmm. Then my mom found another school. I went there. Then the school. Mm -hmm. <laughs> school in Hama. Hey. <laughs> So I was again stranded. So when you say school Ilihama, yeah, did they destroy all the buildings or how? Course, what happened? Yeah. Everything was demolished. They like, demolished all the buildings. Like everything. Okay. So we were left there, and I was. They like, they didn't go far. Maybe maybe where they no. went, you would have gone still. Ilisha. The school finished. Yeah, like there is no school again. Hey. That person I learned that way. Mm. So I was like there. Misha Ivo. So what next? You're in form three. Yeah. Okay. By then I was in form three. Mm -hmm. So I was like, what next? Okay. Later, <clears throat> we had uh, some challenges. Eh? So my mom took me to a children's home. Mm. It's in Kayole. Oh, mom took you to children's home. Yeah. So Babu... It came to a point we were not able to raise a rent, mm -hmm. food delivery, she does, and everything was at. Yeah, it was so hard. Mm -hmm. So my mom opted for me to go to a children's home. That is uh, when I was in Form 3. So I went and joined Form 3 there. So you're, you're saying your mom took you to children's home? Yeah. Because of school fees. So yeah. how about any relative? How about, do you have a dad? No. So any relative that tried to come to you? Okay, to me, I think no one ever came through for me. Nobody. Yeah. And you said you're how many? We are just two, just me and my younger sister. Oh, so yeah. when when you're going through all this, mm -hmm. how about your sister? No, my sister by then she was young. She was like 
three, four years. Ah, yeah. oh, you you have such a big difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So when I uh, when I joined that children's home, it was like more, you know, you being accommodated there just to live. You eat, you clothe, and you sleep there. It's not like it's a school. It's not a school. There's no, no other school you you attending. No. Even a public no, school. No, 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 no. You're just there. So maybe someone would like, what's an editole? Mm-hmm. He or she comes and teaches you some one, two, three, but you're not following the syllabus. Wow. So, no, that is, uh, I can't exactly remember the year. Mm-hmm. So the next year, I joined 10 form four. We had hopes. Oh, you found a school? This no, time, no, no, no. The, the same, same children's home. Mm. It's like we were the first one to do the KCSE. In the school? In the, yeah, in the home. So how, how did you... Sorry, yes, in the children's home. So how mm-hmm. did you manage to do the... To, to go to form for yet you had not been studying? Like, the year has ended, so you have to go to create a way for this other. Ah. Like, you have to. Wow. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. okay, we had no books, but we are learning. So how are you learning? Yani, yeah, it's just someone volunteers, mm-hmm. comes in, teaches you biology, teaches you a little bit maths, bio, yani, yeah, like that. Wow. Soma. Okay. So, we can pick a place. I was like, now we are ready to register for our big exam. Mm. That is KCSE. Yes. Mm. <clears throat> okay, we were not able, I, my mom was not able to raise the cash. Mm. So, the owner, to look out to with her mom, mm. told us, go bring half the amount, mm-hmm. I will add up. But so this, half the, the amount for the exam, mama, half the, the amount for the, for the school fees, yeah. the exam. Exam, exam, okay. Okay. leave okay. alone the school mm. fees. Uh, we were not paying the school fees. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. It was the like more of an accommodation. Okay. So she was like, go bring half the amount, mm. I will add up the rest. I was happy. I'm going to sit for my case. Yes. And you are confident. Very. After not reading the after like Mr. Uh, Gikujua, but me I'm going to sit for my case yes. And get a certificate. Of course. Wow. So here yeah, man and a struggle. Then she finds they have the amount. She finds the money mm. and took the money to the school. Mm. But so unfortunate on uh, July. That is when I knew I did not register for the exam. How did I find out? Huh? <clears throat> it was one early morning. Mm. I was being called in the staff room mm. like Paris on Of course, nothing ringed in my mind. I went in and then I was told, these are your papers. I was, papers for what? Mm-hmm. On top of those papers, there was some amount. Pesa. But yes, she called me and she told me we couldn't register you. Like we need the whole amount. They need the whole amount yet you are told to bring the half, half the amount. So what happened? I took the papers plus the amount plus the cash. I walked out and that is how I left school. So why why did the, the, the owner of the school said she's going to pay half? I have no idea. You never followed up? No. And they never even gave mm-hmm. you any apology or nothing? No. Wow. And okay. that is how I left. I didn't even carry my bag. I left like that. You didn't carry your bag? That is how I went. I carried nothing. And I never went back there. So where did you go? I went back home. You went home, yet you had mm-hmm. been living in that home? Yeah. So it was not far from your own home? No, no, no. Okay. It was not far. It was uh, like less than 100 uh, meters. So is it somewhere you are commuting or yeah. you are staying in? Specifically, okay, you were specifically staying... I was staying in the home mm. before. Mm-hmm. Yes. But later, later, my mom found like a small room mm. and uh, got to accommodate. It mm. was a Mabati house. Mm. So we were paying, uh, I think, 1,000. So that is where we used to live. Where, where, where were you living so this time? Oh, so way too. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, so that is how I dropped. And that is how it ended. Your school ended? Yeah. From like, four, third term? Yeah. 
oh my god yeah and it was so 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 traumatizing sometimes i don't even want to remember that hurts me but it's okay it's okay yeah. it's okay yeah. at least now i know you're going to really work really hard to make sure that your kids finish school. Are you saying, yes, your yeah. kids are going to finish school. Mm -hmm. Yes, because because already my lives. Yes. So take us from there. You've dropped from school. Mm -hmm. From for that time. Mm -hmm. What happens? Then after that, I was like, hey, this life. Eh? And imagine that is where we ladies mostly make mistakes mm. we are like there's no akuna akuna nyingine as in marriage marriage hey hey Ay, tofia kwa this thing you what? want to get married and hey. you just finished form 4 ha hey young girls hey. please take note please take note and let's listen before we start <laughs> I start talking, you know, you will make, I've realized they know how to talk. Nowadays, I talk, uh, I talk, hey, talk, talk, You talk, see talk. yourself, eh? <laughs> so before I start talking, <laughs> let, young girls, listen, let's, li by the way, marriage is good. Don't really? see me say, to fear quiet and think that I'm saying, marriage is beautiful, yeah. but at the right time. With the right person. With the right person. Mm -hmm. Take us through. Knowing the right purpose. Mm. Yeah. Awesome. So, after that mini kaona, eh? We are struggling a lot. Like, how can I quit this? Okay, for one, I didn't get married out of love. Oh, yes. It's like I was running away. That is desperation. Yeah, sure. Yeah. I was running away like, hey. <laughs> In this, my house, mm. someone lives uh, 200 for you. You are the CEO. You are, the, you are the CEO of your life. Oh, you are the Thai, two hundred. Hey. Like you feel no, I can't. Two dollar money. Hey. Two dollar every no, I feel day. Like, hey, I have money. Oh yes. So, me even don't even do part of marriage. So when did you meet this man? For hey, my story. It's going to shock you guys. Please tell us. We have all the time. Tell us. For one, I never knew this man. Don't look at me like that. Too. Hey! Now, wow! Hey! <laughs> One that shall I never know, end. I never knew this man. I knew his brother. His brother? Uh-huh. Ha! Listen, guys, sit so, back. <laughs> Have some tea. <laughs> sit, hey. uh -huh. One day, I went to visit the brother. Yes. Shook on my face. To me, I thought he lives alone. Uh -huh. Kumbe, they live two. Two brothers. So I found this my King B. King B. Hey! <laughs> King B. So I was like, huh, M, where is A? <laughs> and this is my house. <laughs> I was, I'm not looking, I'm looking for the owner of this house. Yes. And he was like, calm down, madam. This is my house. I was like, okay. Where is he? He's not around. What time is he coming back? Uh -huh. Not today. I was okay, bye. See you another day. I left. Not knowing, someone yes. somewhere noticed me. Uh -huh. So the second time I went there, it was on a Sunday afternoon. Mm -hmm. I found him washing clothes. I was wait, like, wait, wait, wait. There is somewhere I have gotten lost. You go visit the brother. Of course. So you ask him who is the owner of this place. Mm -hmm. I need so the owner. Why were you asking about the owner? Because the brother. The brother? Told me mm. he owns the house. But you know, that was not the case. You had spoken to the brother before, mm -hmm. the, the one that owns the house. Yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. No, this is the one that is not owning the house mm -hmm. that has brought you. Yeah. So you are like, uh -uh, I need yeah. to talk to the yeah. owner. I My need friend. the owner. You had seen now this is where I need to be. Like, I'm not going. If it is Hi. not this one, it has to be Tell this. us what made you think this is where I need to be. 
So what, was the place really beautiful? What? Not really, because it was a single room. Mm-hmm. But to me, it was heaven on earth. Oh yeah. yeah. Owing to the fact that you had come from yeah. not. Yeah. So I was like, huh? so I found him washing clothes, and he told me, "You can just get in and make some tea, feel comfortable. Maybe he's coming." Hey, me, I'm there watching, eh? He comes in and he's like, what are we making for lunch? What are we? Are we making for lunch? No, wow. Hey, I'm telling you, these people, this gender. (laughs) Hey, I was like, I'm okay. I don't feel like I want to eat. You have to. Yes. So the guy made me a cup of tea and uh, ugali mala. What a nice welcome. So you think, eh? <coughs> yes, I do. <laughs> Gali Mala, guys, comment on the se- <laughs> comment section. Let me know. Do you know Mala? Do you know Maziwa Mala? How, what, uh, of, how do we call it in, in English? That one, eh? Sour milk. Sour milk. Yeah. Write down. Is it, some, is it one of your delicacies? <laughs> let me know. Let me know in the comment section. Yes. So, I ate, I drank, and I was like... This is where I want to belong. Mm. I have found my destination. I'm not anywhere. Uh-huh. So we stayed. Not remembering I have to go back and find my tough mom. I'm happy. And my mom used to tell me, when you know you talk, I just go back there. So, me going back home, I found my mom standing like this. What time is this? Around 8. 8 p.m. Mm-hmm. I found her standing like this and I was, <laughs> this is Afghanistan waiting for me. <laughs> I'm not coming. <laughs> I will not. I didn't. I ran away. So, you didn't even wait for her no, to tell no, you no, nothing? No. I knew what was coming. Turn around. No, I went to my friend's, my, my friend's house, eh? She was a lady, but she was married. Mm. So I stayed there for a week. No one knew where I was. So are you communicating to this king, babe? I don't have a phone. Oh, God. So I stayed there for a week, and I was like, now I'm ready to go face the world. I went in the same house. Not in my mom's house. Where? Hey. You went to the boyfriend's place? Uh-huh. My boyfriend. Is he my boyfriend? King B. Uh, hey. Wait. No, you're Where is the brother now? I don't know. He chased him away. Chai! Wife has come. Mm-hmm. I have found. Wow. So I went, I found him. I was like, uh, uh, I'm here to stay. I am here. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> I have brought myself. Muzima, muzima. Kabisa. <laughs> And he was like, welcome. Chai. Come, let's stay. I remember his uh, his big brother called him and he was like, who is she? He was like, she's my wife. What was he doing? Like, mm-hmm. like, you had just finished form four. Mm-hmm. Was he a student, maybe in college? No, no, no. no. Or he was, was he working. Wa- oh, he was working. We have a net gap of 10 years, 10, 8 years. Oh, so he it's was different. working. Yeah. Okay. So his uh, old brother came like, who is she? The one they were living with is the no, younger no, no. one. Yeah, he's younger. Okay. No, the bigger brother mm. came. Eh? Who is she? She's my wife. Me with my stupid thinking, it was like, I've been introduced as a wife, so I have to be one. Yes. And that is what I became for you like became a wife. 12 years. Wait, how long? 12 years. You got married just like that for mm-hmm. 12 years. Mm-hmm. 12 good years. Congratulations. <laughs> what? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yo, I thought I was married for long, eh? seven years. Mm-hmm. Plus five. What? Yeah. Bring <clears throat> us back to the mom. What did your mom say? No, my mom uh, sent another woman to come and pick me up. You know what I told that woman? I'm not going anywhere. This is my house. Chai! And that is where we ladies, uh, sometimes we fall. Because I wish I knew comes later. Sometimes I sit back and I was... If I ever listened to my mom, the time she called me, like if I went, 
maybe things would have been different. If wishes were horses. That type. Mm -hmm. But it was too late. Mm -hmm. So I had to stay, come rain, sunshine. come sunshine, I'm there. Like, I don't want to go back. I feared what the community would say. Mm. Guys, what people will say is yeah. one thing that has finished so many people. And it is none of their business. What What will someone say? Yeah. Who is that someone and what do they have to do with mm -hmm. you? They are not paying your bills. They are not there when you're getting Tell them. stressed. Yeah. They are not there. Why are you fearing what people will say? Yeah. That is where we feel. I was like, if I go back to my moms, no, people will start talking, mm. people will start mocking, now see, she's back. Mm. We knew, and most people thought I got married because I was pregnant, but that was not the you case. You were not pregnant. I was not. Two years down the line is when I, became, I got pregnant. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. So even if you had listened to your mom and came out... You would not have said maybe I left when pregnant. No. Or said you what? No. You pregnant got pregnant two nothing. years later. Yeah. Wow. So how was this man? Take us through. Take us through. Now you have moved in. You <coughs> are Mrs. King Bay. No, I am. Eh? <laughs> Managing. CEO. -ing. Money. Hey. Say it loud. Two dollar every day. You. Hey, now, wow. if I feel like I want to eat nyama, I go for quarter. Wow. Who am I? <laughs> am I not... What do they call this? Am I not blessed? You are. Because I have money. But let me tell you something. Sorry. Rose, your money is sweet. Mm -hmm. The money that you have worked for yes. is sweet. It is. If only I knew then. But you know, sometimes we just want, you know, that, that, that man's money really tastes so good. But they tell us, unless you have to experience it yourself, mm -hmm. that is when you get to learn. Awesome. As long as it's coming from, from your pocket, it's sweet. You can manage it either way you feel like. Mm -hmm. So I stayed uh, uh, at, I think at 8 I would wake up at 8. Eight. I would wake up, take tea, go back to sleep. Chai. See how life is sweet. Maisha London. See life how life is sweet. <laughs> you take breakfast, you go back to go bed. Go back to sleep. Wake up, take lunch, go back to sleep. Wake up at four. So <laughs> kuniangalia <laughs> ivorose. I'm just trying to remember, hey, this life is good though. As in, I'm like... I was at my comfort zone. Yes. I never saw life I never saw life beyond that. It's like I was See? And I tell you, it's not easy to come out of that. It's not. Some Unless, of us we came out of there by force by fire. Hey. By force by hey. thunder. Hey. hey. I'm looking at you like that and I know myself. I hey. know now. I know. Hmm. I may not be waking up and eating and hey. going back to bed, but I know hmm. I was really comfortable because I knew every bill is being paid. Will be hey. Then, hey. one morning I woke up. The same, same tea I used to take, I don't want to take. The same, same bread I used to take, I don't want to take. I was like, what is happening to me? Hey, stop smiling. I am smiling because I'm trying to imagine. You it's don't like, know. Yet like you know you no have way. been very busy. Hey. Wait, hey. guys. She does not hmm. know what is happening to the tea. She's not know. tasting anymore. Hey. Yet she knows she had been really busy. Working. Busy. Working. <laughs> Day and night. Hey. Yeah. So like, I was like, huh? What is really not happening? I went to uh, a neighbor. I was like, I'm not feeling okay. She looked at me and she was, we are pregnant. Do you know, I urinated on myself. <laughs> Why? Hey, me. What did you expect? Me. Wait. Pregnant. You had been busy now. How? 
What did you expect? <laughs> I've been here enjoying myself. <laughs> Yeah. This thing will not leave me. Oh. <laughs> I really need to tell myself, like, what did you say? You are pregnant. Wow. Do you know, since then, I became sick. Wow. Like, I would wake up every morning and start crying. Oh. How old were you by then? I think I was 20, heading to 21. Oh. 20 years big big. mama small so baby thought, now hey. uh, uh, small picking 20 hey. years uh, yeah. uh, that is really early what yeah so i was like hey me pregnant now i'm finished like finished i was like if he denies this it's the end of me how would he deny yet he knows he had been getting this but you know men but you are living with him hey some doesn't don't care if you're living with him or so not. tell me but how thank did god he, take it? he was okay he was like i have been waiting for this so he knew what he was doing hey, and i was so you knew it <laughs> okay i cried like the whole nine months oh so are you even eating no I was like, after someone gets a baby, that's the end of you. Like, it's done. You can't do anything beyond that. That's what you thought. That is what I thought. That was what it was in my mind. Mm. <sighs> Thank God, it was not a smooth journey, but I went through it. Mm -hmm. Gave birth to my son, whom I really, really love so much. Ian, I love you so much. Oh. Yeah. After like uh, one year, Got pregnant again. Rose, stop this thing. You are looking at me Why? like... Why? Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Wait. Hey. How busy were you getting now? Uh -uh. Hey. You wouldn't try to give some, some space. No, tell me. This thing. <laughs> no, tell me. It is with all. <laughs> Jesus. Hey. Uh -huh. I think it was not even one year. It was nine months. Pregnant again. Wait, you, but did you do any FP? F, any no, family planning? No. No, someone, someone miss me. me. <laughs> Clearly, in Dangania, like, if you're breastfeeding, there is you no can't. way. You can't. There is no way you can get That is a lie from the pit of hell. Girls, that is lie. That, that because you're breastfeeding, you can't get pregnant, uh -huh. my friend. If you can get pregnant, even with... Did you watch the video I did for this girl from, from um, Uganda? This girl called Doreen, with six children. She was conceiving with family planning. What about just breastfeeding? breastfeeding. That is a lie, girl. That is what I was told. So at nine months, I'm like, eh? That thing smells bad. thing smells bad. What? And you know what? He was like, you, eh? You, eh? eh? I'm watching you from a distance. I was like, no, don't say that. Are you serious? He was like, go take a test. Guess what? Mm. Again. You have a nine months old baby. Yeah. You break that. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So I would carry my baby at the back. You're going for clinic. I'm going for clinic. But nafunga baby show kubwa. No one would notice. In fact, around eight months, that is when women started talking like she's pregnant. Within three weeks, I went and gave birth. They were like, huh? Where were you all this time? Uh -huh. So, but that baby didn't survive. I think I hated that baby from the word go. Since you you realized yeah, you know. that baby survived like two weeks. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't know about <coughs> that by then. Yeah. Guys, this one I've known right now. Like when she's saying, I didn't know about that. Mm -hmm. Some few people know about that. So there I was crying, but deep down I was like, I didn't like it. Like, it's okay. So was it another boy or a baby girl? It was another boy. So after like <laughs> one year, another one. 
this time you had known that with breastfeeding alone you cannot mm. so did you go i did extra not extra miles to no so you also wanted a baby yeah that one i wanted eh? i was like let me fill the gap oh i was like let me fill the gap and lord eh, this time round i need a baby bo- a baby a uh, baby girl okay. <laughs> and sure that is what i was given ah. yeah Awesome. Her name is Precious and uh, she's really precious to she's me. She's precious. Yeah. At least I, I know <coughs> the the boys. Ian. Ian and Precious. Those ones have I've seen them. I have I have branded their clothes as yeah. well. Thank you. They really love it. Thank and you. And they're like, oh <laughs> so the journey was not easy. So after the second born, that is when now I started seeing the true colours of the person. <laughs> What happened? Wait, all this time the man was very okay. The best. Yeah. Like me, Mtuanga Kujani Ambia, your husband would ever cheat on you. I was like, for what? What has Looking he learned? for what? What has he learned? Uh-huh. Look at this. Hmm. You are looking at this <laughs> and beyond. <laughs> that was me. Hey, wait, that was me. What is he looking for? Mm-hmm. Like, what is it that you don't do for him? Ah, the devil is a liar. A very big liar. Uh-huh. So, <clears throat> he started, like, misbehaving. And I was so naive. I was so, 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 so innocent. Very innocent, if I may say. Like, I never... I saw some, some red flags, but I never acted. Like, it was what normal. It was normal to me. What did you see? First, he would, sorry, he would not come home. He left in the morning. He went to work. He will call in the evening, like, I will not come. I'll come tomorrow. Evening. This is after how long? How long have you been into marriage? Like, after four years. Four years. Yeah. So I was like, it's okay. And he would like, is there anything in the house that you want? No. We are sorted. You sorted. Yeah. So I think that is where he took advantage of. But I remember the first incident. Huh? <clears throat> His younger brother, mm-hmm. by then he had a wife. And we were going to see the wife's home. Mm. Mm-hmm. So on that Friday evening, mm. he never came home. He came on Saturday morning. Mm-hmm. In fact, Nilukanenda Kungwa Mlango, so I can get out. And he was coming, coming in. It was six in the morning. And he, I was like, Who are you coming from? I'm okay. So on Monday, when I was uh, washing clothes, I found a receipt in his jacket. Mm. I didn't ask. A receipt for what? A room. I didn't ask. I kept it somewhere. Haki, when God wants to expose you. Wallah, he does. Why would he come with a receipt? I don't know. Wow. I kept it, eh? For Peter reference. Eh. Hey. So, but now, at least in Mianza Kufungu Kamato, I've started seeing things are not working mm. not normal. So, the second incident, I remember it was on uh, same, same Saturday. He went and he came back around 8. <coughs> Alisi mama kwa mlango. Hakutuata viatu. He didn't even remove the shoes. He was like, what are you cooking? I was in the kitchen. What are you cooking? I said, food. <laughs> You're rude. Food. <laughs> Why you not supposed to be cooking food? No, he was like, what kind of food? Yeah. Come see now. Uh-uh. Yeah. <laughs> he was like, no, let me see someone here. I'm coming. And that is how he went the whole night again. Like I was used to this. But to me it was normal. It was normal? Normal. You were not crying at night? No. So are you calling him at night? No. When he goes, you wait for him until the day. I know he will come back. Chai, you Mm -hmm. you believed in yourself. Mm -hmm. I know he would. He cannot do anything against so I thought. Eh? <clears throat> so by then I remember I didn't have a phone. Mm. 
but nilikuwa na line i had a sim card eh? so when he was leaving i told him <coughs> sorry remove my sim card and leave it on the table mm-hmm. just in case eh? and he did exactly that so in the morning when he came back i took the sim card and put it back to his phone mm. that is when i started seeing messages Amen. hey where are you where are you baby hey where are you meeting me what time are you meeting me i'm here have you reached and i was like no this it's a lie that is the day i cried the rose i cried like for two hours then stop and that is when i knew i've been married to myself the 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 messages were they coming from one person or different yeah yeah people? yeah one person so he was seeing someone mm. in specific yeah that is when i knew things are not working out but i was like so we can talk and what thing yes <laughs> so you see the man's true color after four years wow and peter peter after four years as it all that is when he was like if you want to go you can now go Abembelezi? Uh-uh. If you want to, uh-huh. you can. Wow. But here I was like, nenda wapi? Why am I going with two children? Uh-huh. Na hiyo ndio mistake tunafanyanga. <coughs> Unaonyesha mtu I have nowhere to go. So the guy takes advantage mm. of that. Mm. So I stayed there until I was not comfortable anymore. Mm-hmm. I was like this has to end. I have to put a stop to this. Like I have to accept myself, mm. pick up the broken pieces yes. and move on. Wow. But it was not easy. By the time you come to discover yourself, it's too late. It's too late. But to me I say it's never too late. And cuz you say cuz you say you he started showing you his at four bars, years. the other side at mm-hmm. four years yeah. yet you are married. 12 years so yes. you, you stayed there for another 8 years i was like i'm not going you are ready to fight for your yeah. marriage mm-hmm. <laughs> and me me do for all those years i've never sat down with anyone like to tell what i'm going through in my marriage you never talked no. to your mom no how in about fact, your pastors no nobody I even like, a friend friends yeah but not that deep You need this shallow shallow thing. Yes. Yeah? I was like this is what happens in a marriage. So oh, you thought that is that is common. That is yeah. what, how it's supposed to be. Yeah, I was like it's it's right. A man is supposed to go out. As in it's normal. Other men are doing it. Why not him? Is he ah. not a man? That's a lie from the pit of hell. Yeah. Oh. Mm-hmm. So After those eight years, I was like, this is now enough. What made you feel now it's enough after spending 12 years? <coughs> And le- let's say eight of misery. Yeah. Is it, was it total misery? Or was, was he trying to be good and then he... Yeah, it was ups and downs. Mm-hmm. Sometimes he would become a drunk. And he was like, the day I moved out was the day he opened the door for me. And he was like, if you want to go, the, the door is wide open. You can. So what made you finally say, I need to move out? What I think major thing happened? Do you know, Rose, I used to, you know this Masai Panga? Masai Machete. I used to sleep on it. It was under my mattress. Why? To me, it was normal. Eh? I used to ask him, what is it for? He was like a man need security. Wait, oh, you're not the one who had put it there? No, him. He told me a man need security. You know how our Kikuyu men say, "Muduri dai karabo." Mhm. So he was like, "Ah, it's okay. I'm protected." Oh, yes. Yeah. As ah. in it was total security. But one day he told me, "You know I can make you slices with this. I can slice you up." Yeah. And my kids are watching. Wait. Yeah. He told you that in front of the kids. Mm-hmm. You know my daughter urinated and she was shivering, shaking all over. 
what had happened? Where did he come? You he just he came, came drunk. Yeah. Yes. He just came. We started an argument. Where are you coming a very, from? A very blah, pity blah, blah. argument. Yeah. Yeah. Where are you late? Like you're used to this. And that is the day he opened the door for me. You wanna leave? Feel free. So when he was telling, so he went, took the machete. Mm-hmm. I can slice you with this. Chai. What were you thinking at that time? I was comfortably seated. Are you for real? Mm-hmm. I never moved. I was like, if that will make you okay, come do it. Wow. Yeah. But later, it was a night and it was raining. Me and my kids, we went to the police. We reported. We were given the police car. We came, but we didn't find him. But the police carried the machete. Mm-hmm. And I was told, in case of anything else, come back. I never went back. They left you there? Yeah. You, you yeah. stayed there? But my daughter was crying like, I don't want to leave. I don't want to be left here. I want to go with you. So I had to console her like, it's okay. Nothing bad is going to happen. So when he came back and knocked at the door, you know what my daughter told me? Oh. Guys, can you... Are you listening? See, you men out there who who mm-hmm. think you can just harm women just like that. By the way, you're not just hurting us. Mm-hmm. Maybe you, you metal shaker, you're, you're through, you, you don't find us attractive yeah. anymore. But are you mad? Are you thinking about the little the babies? The kids that you sired? Mm-hmm. The kids that you've brought to this life, really? And they didn't, they didn't apply to be born. Sure. You did it. Mm-hmm. You and your wife did it. Then why are you really... In fact, by the time you both of you fighting, I think you're supposed to like fight deep uh-huh. in your bedroom. Mm-hmm. You know, and, and, and of course not... Sleeping. Please, don't you even try to, to bring any physical fight with your wife. Somebody that you love, somebody that you once loved. Let, let me say you once loved because this time when you're fighting them, you don't love them yeah. no more. But somebody that you once loved and you have sired children, why would you want to inflict pain on them? But then, man, do you know, but then, you, man, you're not even serious. But then we can also kill you. You don't know, by the way, we can kill you. These people don't know. Yeah. You can just sleep and your wife wakes up and, and kills you. Mm-hmm. By the way, guys. Very simple. I'm the one who prepares your food. I'm the one who hates. You, hey. you sleep there. Hey. Unangorota. Hmm. You pour saliva. A woman can just wake up and stab you. My friend. Be wise. Be very wise. Be warned. When you're mistreating us. Be, be very wise. Be one. Hey. Ah. My goodness. Uh-huh. So, after that... I took my daughter. I held her. She slept. Do you know I spent the night holding her? Oh my God. But my son, he didn't sleep. He was like, are you okay? Are you okay? Is he sleeping? So when he woke up in the morning and left to go to work, that is when we slept physically. That is where I st- when I started uh, preparing my papers, he left. Mm-hmm. To Qatar, I left the kids there. Wait, you he opened the door, you left. Mm-hmm. You he, carried your kids. Yeah. Where did you go? I went to the police. Yes, you went to the police. You yeah. came back then in the morning. Mm-hmm. He left. He left up to and, work. up until there we are we are together. Yeah. When now did you leave the house? That was later, like after two months. I after con- two months, I continued staying there. And he would come. Yeah. And you would sleep and snow. Rose, I'm telling you, eh? Uh-uh. I'm telling you. Were you not worried that he would execute whatever he had I said? don't know what was inside me. Because sometimes I sit back and I was like, was I okay? Yeah, because that is what I'm trying to yeah. think. Even me, I wonder, was I okay? And guys, you know what? These people that kill each other, they will not just wake up and kill one you. Day, no. They will it's have warned process. you. It's a they will have told you, by the way, yeah. one day I'll kill you. Mm-hmm. I will slice you up ah. like the way he did. Mm. These women that they don't have limbs, they don't have na- some parts. Yeah. They were warned, oh, they were, I will kill you. I will do this, I'll do that. Just and then they were like, ah, this man, he's just bluffing. Mm-hmm. My friend, 
ignorance kept there for another two months eh? but that is when i was preparing to leave and for sure i left you you decided i need to go to i need a break to go to the gulf yeah like i need i need to end this but to me it was like this is still my home this is still my marriage like it has to work so when i was leaving i left the kids there what yeah yo i left the kids there i was like i knew he would get mad eh? but i knew he would not harm the kids i knew i went after one week i called so did you how did you go to gulf tell us okay how i went to gulf eh? a friend of mine left when she went she called me like i have a direct hire are you willing to come i was like like now now so this time you've already gotten a, a, a phone a passport a phone there's a time you had told us you didn't have a yeah, phone yeah yeah you got a phone i phone yes you got she a she called me and i was i like like even if it's now i want to come within two weeks i got a visa i got a ticket and i left to qatar mm-hmm. that was i left on uh, may 10th of may 2018 mm-hmm. that is when i left after one week i called him he never picked after one month i called he never picked i called a friend i was like is my family okay and she was like yeah they are okay i see them i relaxed do you know i've been uh, i've been there for like two years five months in qatar yeah so what work were you doing in Qatar? I was a housemaid. Okay. Yeah. Hakuna hata siku moja Rose I did call him akapea watoto simu. He would always deny me the chance to talk to my kids. Immediately I left, my mom in law brought in a lady claiming to be a house help. Mhm. Mhm. So I would get information from various sources how the kids have been mistreated how the kids yani someone would send you a text message on whatsapp and you're like ha huh? i need to get back i talked to someone this is after how long after like 3 months 3 months after you left the mm. mother in law brought house girl no i think one month after i left that is when the house help came in she would deny them food they would wash their clothes and that of their dads ah uh-uh. ah hey so this house girl why is he not washing the clothes of know. the dad if he will she will not wash for the kids i don't know someone would send me a text message like what are talking on akazo kura hata hawa ugangi he was like what am i doing here i need to go back for my kids I talked to my boss and I told her sponsor. I talked to my sponsor and uh, I told her I want to go back home. She asked me, "Have you ever been out of the country?" "No, it's the first time." So she told me it's homesick and it's going to end within no time. Then we had another Kenyan over there lady. I went and talked to her. Mm-hmm. By there I would see that lady talking to her kids back home. It would pain me. Oh, I went and I told her what I was going through and she was like, "Umona He wants you to get back there with nothing, with nothing, so that he can he continue frustrating. He can torment you more. So, fanya hivi, just endelea na kazi, continue working. The kids are safe. Yani we used to pray with this lady like morning, afternoon, evening, pray all the pray, time. Pray. We prayed until I finished my contract. But one thing I wished to come and find that house help in my house. She was a house help. Mhm. I would just wanted to come and find her, but so unlucky she had left. So was she really a house help? I don't know. This one who will not do the the shop mm-hmm. the house chores. Mhm. I don't know. 
Because that are, do your food. Ngeata, she will take that money, go to salon, buy makeup. My kids would be ten bob in our tosha mandazi moja moja. By the way, the situation I found my kids in. This is after two years, five mm-hmm. months. Yeah. I would not wish any woman to find her kids in that situation. It's bad. So I came. Eh? Niki Wauko, we st- I still used to text him, at least to give him morale, mm. not to harm the kids. Mm. At this time, I had given up on him, eh? but I used to talk to him for him not to harm the kids. Mm-hmm. So I would send him some texts and don't worry, I'm coming back and blah, blah. Mm-hmm. So when I came back, I saw my kids and I was like, no. How are they? How did you, how did you find them? Rose. It's bad. Bad. Physically, how are they looking? Very bad. Thin, yeah. machated. Mm-hmm. Very bad. Had it was to ask them, Munakulaga, Munaugaga, Gum Nabadilishanga after how long? Because no one knew I was coming. Mm. By the way, it just came. You didn't tell even you know. So, I did to care to me. I didn't give them that. Time for preparing. Mm. Like, mom is coming. I mm. just wanted to come and find Venyoto and Anyambianga if it's true. Mm-hmm. And they found out it is. They looked like street kids. Oh, God. Were they going to school? Yeah. Okay. But one thing I thank God for, they were alive. At least. Yeah. We, we thank God. Healthy. I came. That is last year, September. I came. I stayed there for one month. Mm-hmm. But I was not okay. So I had to look for a place. That is when Nihama, from there mm-hmm. to somewhere, mm. he never knew. So this one month, uh-huh. how was the relationship? Very bad. In fact, there was no intimacy. There can't be, really. Like... Feelings, they are dead. So, I was on a mission to steal my kids. Nothing much. That was my mission. So, I was like, last year, December, I called him like, so you give me the kids, I spend the holiday with them. He was like, go get your own kids. Uh-uh. Whose kids are those? I don't know. Then I was like, uh-uh. So who who was I? Who are they to me? He was like, I've told you, go get your own kids. I didn't be Shana with him. I left him. So on, on January, they went back to school. January now, this year? This year, yeah. I called him. <laughs> Can you share the school fees? He was like, you as who? Eh, eh. So he still doesn't, he, he does not want your money? No. You as who? I was like, okay. At least you you had been paid mm-hmm. very well there. Mm-hmm. So you had come with your money. Yeah. You know, some people are mistreated and yeah, they're never yeah. given their yeah. money. So you were treated well mm-hmm. there. Okay. So February, I called him like, when are the kids closing schools? It's none of your business. Mm-hmm. I was like, now you are pushing me too far. So I called a teacher from their school just to inquire, when are you closing on this date? I was like, this is the day I need to go and pick them. Mm. And that is what I did. It was on March 17th. That is when I went and picked them with nothing. With nothing meaning? Nothing. Only the clothes they had on. Ah. Yeah. And I think I forwarded you those audios. Yes, 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 yes. He called me the and he was so bitter. Like, how dare you? He was like, now, if I find you. I remember those audios like it was yesterday. Yes. When he was saying that he will do something mm-hmm. to the kids. Mm-hmm. That, that one, guys, my goodness. She sent me the audios. And, and this thing was really, really, really traumatizing. I'm trying to imagine... 
why would you want to inflict pain on your own children mm -hmm. if you have a cause to settle with the mother settle that why are you including the kids like i will do something to these kids you will my goodness mm -hmm. I, i have never forgotten those yeah. you will be the talk of the town like they have to see you on tv on tv yes he said i will do something that will make news mm -hmm. and he was so bitter very angry and throwing in a lot of vulgar inside mm -hmm. what you know my son would sit and he would be like this i was like uh -uh. he was like oh the boy was getting depressed by the way my son he really needs someone to talk to counsel yeah you need that thing it's still fresh in his mind yeah because it's just much yeah guys what what so later as in i blocked him like it became too much the threat yeah i reported to the the my near police station but no action was taken by the way the police told me nothing much can be done to this because it's not physical these are just words even after listening to such yeah. so i was wondering must it be physical for any action to be taken must it be physical are you a lawyer out there please help us understand this are you supposed to wait until someone is cut or hit or done whatever for for anything to to take place please leave a comment let us know yeah so i stayed with them on march april i think on uh, may my son went back to school i had to look for another school to enroll him i found one and i thank god for this marvelous human being i found there madam mm. she listened to me and she took my son in yeah? later after like two weeks he called me i need my kids back and if you remember in those audios he told me i want nothing to do with the kids yes i remember i want nothing to do with the kids and i was like you told me you have no kids like you want nothing to do with mm. them now they are your kids how i told him you know what it's too much i can't so the best thing he did he took me to children's right mm. office mm. in town in uh, at mamangena street somewhere there for mediation we went there we still like one hour we talked and nothing changed he has my id why is he having your id he has my id he has my nhif card eh? why does he have your id he just took it so when we were there i told those officers kindly tell him to give me my id because he can do anything with it i will be the one to blame he was like i don't have it here then he was asked when are you bringing it when i find it I was like you don't have it then where is it We talked and I remember your madam asking him have you ever loved Paris He didn't answer Yeah For 12 years have you ever loved this lady He didn't answer But I was okay as in, I let go But my main problem is let my kids be. Cuz on uh, I think it was on me. He was he came to where I was staying, you know the place. Mm -hmm, eh? mm. He went to the chief's office. I was summoned there. Mm. I went. He wanted the kids. I was like you said you don't want anything to do with the kids. Why? Then the chief told him this is beyond me take the matter to court. Mm -hmm. You see? Later, like after one week, him and his brothers came looking for the kids. Where? 
despair. My goodness. My, my son was coming from school. My sister went to pick him. Then, all of a sudden, they see a speeding car towards them. They were like, who's this? They started running. They scattered. Oh, my kids. They are traumatizing. Voila. They, they, they are tra- traumatizing the kids. My kids are not at peace. So the only thing I want, eh? Separation is good. To heal. Mm. As in, you need as much time as... Then you need to two time for you to find out yourself. Mm. Find out who you really are. And some things, any of it was in Guinea, they just happen with a reason. Because sometimes I sit back and I'm like, if I never left, mm. what would have happened? You never know. You never know. You can never tell. You can just hope for the best. But now my problem is kindly let my kids be. My kids, okay, for me it's understandable, eh? As in, I can cope with it. It's understandable if you if you fa- fail to love someone the way you love them yeah. before. It's okay. Love, love dies. It's okay. We will not kill ourselves yeah. because you stopped loving us. Mm-mm. The question is, what are mm-hmm. you, why are you ha- why would you mistreating the kids? Pushing? Why are you mistreating the kids? Mm-hmm. Because that man, for sure, I can tell that that man is not a good man. A man who would leave threats on the kids and say, I will do something to these kids, you'll find yourself making news. That is not a good man. And he was talking to the kid. He was like, Yes, by the way, remember. Yeah. Tell your mom. Mm-hmm. Ile kitu nitawafanyia, my goodness, I was, I was just feeling, mm. I don't know. I was just feeling like it's someone talking some, some shit for lack of a better word, yeah. about my own kids. Mm-hmm. Where would you harm the kids for heaven's sake? To a point I had to nyanganyam to auto simulate to stop it. The boy is traumatized. Yeah. Are, you, are, you, are you a counselor out there? Yeah. Are you dealing with little kids? Mm-hmm. I don't know if there are counselors who deal with everybody or just there are those ones that deal with, with mature and, and small kids. This is a boy who is 13 years of age. Mm-hmm. Are you out there? Would you offer your your services for free because this girl is really struggling for sure you cannot you cannot just ask any money from her she's living with her mom by the way guys this place we are at is her mom's she's we living have, there we had to hide we yeah. had to run for our safety because it was too much, eh? going to the police, thinking, upon you, that was head dizzy. And they are telling you, wait until it's physical. How now? Uh-uh. That is when we can act. Can you wait? You can't? Yeah. How will you wait for your hand to be cut? Mm-hmm. I've seen women without limbs. I've seen women with their eyes gorged Blood. out. Yeah. Go- not black, gorged out completely. Mm-hmm. They don't have an eye. I wish the best for my kids, but he is pushing it too far. Kindly. So how, when was the last time he spoke to you? And, and what did he say? I remember the last time I did speak to him was on, I think was on June. I was at the hospital. The money I had, Elisha, I remembered Nikonakadi, and it is not helping me. So I had to call him to send in some cash. He sent me 850. You know, I was bitter. Nilikuwa sent me this. Nilikuwa na 25. For the medicine. So. And here I have 850. To be Sometimes you make us go crazy. <laughs> Look, instead of even <laughs> buying a few of the medicines, she decides to eat fries. fries. Oh my god. Nili make sure I couldn't a bob in your back. So now let me go struggle out there. Find the two two thousand five hundred and buy the meds. So who was sick? My son was sick. 
he still has that condition to date yeah he is even supposed to go see a guy na akikojwa na sikia uchungu ah na si she dey manja sai it's been with him since he was young it's on and off mm-hmm. yeah oh he needs a doctor yeah he needs a specialist mm-hmm. yeah if can we can we get one guys we can help this girl oh my god this girl she has sent me so so many uh, voice voice those those things that the husband said god it's horror you listen to something and you start shivering and and this is not something that is happening to you mm-hmm. you hear them they are living with the mom she has to keep does he pay school fees by the way he does school not do fees. nothing even food i struggled my own way and making the matter worse eh? he has never even called to inquire how about the kids well being how are the kids in fact and why uh, why is he even asking about the kids really no he's in a better position to answer that are you working currently i'm not working i'm processing papers i need to leave but i'm scared where are you going to i need to go back to gulf you need to go to gulf mm-hmm. so gulf was good for you like the, you were not mistreated there okay like there it's not sweet we manage like if you okay, flash back what you have been through back then mm. you are like i have to do this cuz we really people over there like okay we don't complain much if a day passes you are like one day it's gone a day at a time yeah how many hours do you have to sleep there Oof. for me it was like i would wake up at 5:30 i slept at 2 2 a.m. Mhm. It's early for you people. 3 and a half hours. 3. 3 hours to sleep. Half. Yeah. And you have to wake up, prepare the kids, do the house chores. You are being taken to her mom's home. You will go and work there. Are you paid double? No. Who But when it? when you signed the papers you were going to work in one house. Mhm. Then you're working in two. Mhm. That is what you find after you have left. they don't tell you that when you're here by the way you can be told unaenda kuangalia mtoto mmoja you find 10 kids 10 and you have a, you have already signed the contract there is no going back that is why some say like i can't work but for me i was like i need to i have to Have you looked for work here have have you have you contemplated working have you thought that you can work from here and not go back there if i find the answer but sometimes you try to add up to what you are getting and you're like so there you know, you, you earn better not better but it's at least mm-hmm. yeah because when you are living unatoka na salo ya 9 so then so that, that's how much around 24 23 So we see it's better ni afadhali sababu enyewe here yeah. here in Kenya uh, ah kupata job ya 20k, 20K hapa, even with a degree it had so i was like you know like now hey i have a big burden on me eh? my son soon he's a candidate he has to go through the the circumcision yeah yes it's on me my daughter is in uh, grade 5 atamaliza grade 6. Mm. So it's like ndawapeleka wote secondary at once. Wow. You see? My son have to go through that uh, circumcision thing. It's still on me. So nikifanya hizo mahesabu it's too much. I need son is in grade 7 right now. Yeah, class 7. Like I need to work extra hard. Yeah. So you have um uh, in case anybody So if you find work here mm-hmm. better you you're ready to work. Yeah. Very so what 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 kind of work would you want? Any as long as I'm earning. And any means Mimi si which, which one can you which one are you specific? Which one are you comfortable? Okay to me Rose I say Mimi hata ukiniambia nifungue hicho as long as you are paying me I would go and do it. 
If you tell me to come and wash clothes for you, I will. If you come, you tell me to come and you bathe you, as long as you are paying me, mm. I will do it. Wow. Yeah. So, any kind of job, I'm good to go. Wow. Yeah. papers. Papers. She doesn't have papers like yeah. she told us. She mm -hmm. she dropped fourth year from four that third stuff. term yeah. when she was uh, because of lack of school fees. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, guys! And still, uh, I need to make a uh, an appeal. Eh? Yeah, an appeal. Eh? Nikiwa girl, I suffered uh, in itangwa precancerous cells. What's that? Mm, like, it's like you have cancer cells, yeah. but they are not grown. So they are malignant. They are semi malignant or yeah. something. Mm -hmm. So when I was there, it was diagnosed when in Qatar. Yeah, like which which person? Cervix, cervical uh, something. So Nikiwa Uko, I did something called colposcopy. You remember me telling you something of yeah. the sort? Sometime back, mm -hmm. uh, you connected me to Esther. Yeah, 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 I remember. It. So mm -hmm. I did something called, sorry, colposcopy. Mm -hmm. It's a process where, uh, okay, let me take you through a short journey. It started as a infection, mm -hmm. on and off, mm -hmm. on and off infection, vaginal infection, mm -hmm. that is. Eh? Mm -hmm. So it was like after one year, I saw this thing is too much. Mm -hmm. Like it's eating. It's kind of smelly. Mm. So I I went to the hospital. Mm. Some some cells biopsy. A biopsy was done on me, and they found out those cells. Eh? They booked in. They booked me in for a small gas surgery. Kuchoma na stima. It's very pain. Oh God. The process itself it's not that painful, but the healing process mm. mm -hmm. it's. No good. Okay. You smell like rotten. Meat. When you're healing. Yeah. Because you remember, it's inside you. So there's no way to even clean. No. Are there no uh, No, you are not supposed to, to use even a tampon. Like it's supposed to heal itself. There's no medicine, maybe no. any tablet to insert mm -mm. or something. Mm -mm. So how is it healing? By itself? Itself. And remember, it's smelling. Hey, smelling. So how are you even staying with those people? Remember, it's God's grace. God's grace. Remember, here you are. Some things go, but anyway, it's life. It's a procedure. You, you go in, the bandicoot videos are steamer all over you. Then you have to be there like 30 minutes. When I tell my work, it was sales. You smell like in your stomach. Hey. Oh my God. What? Yeah. Remember, they are coming from inside you. And I was like, uh -uh. to a point when I came back, I was, I, I, I used to ask, can I give birth to a kid anymore? My gyna told me, yes, you can, but you have to wait. So this process, si poa. Si poa. So, Right now, I'm supposed to go in for a pap. Pap, pap yeah. yeah, yeah. Unapiangwa clinic, you have to do a follow up for like two years mm. before they clear you cancer free. Mm. So I have to follow that clinic for two years, but you've sina, not gone. Yeah, sina uwezo for now. Perhaps me is uh, quite expensive. Yeah. By the way, guys, I I just I just got to understand the other day. Um, that pap smear. What what we do? What we get when we go to to get tested for mm -hmm. the that thing? That is not pap smear. Pap smear is really serious. Like the way we go and then they they just insert that thing and they they pour some some solution and they they check the coloring. Yeah, that is not pap smear. Is quite a process. It's a process, and I know it's it, it has to be expensive. Mm -hmm. Then after that, perhaps near they will do another biopsy. They cut like a small piece of meat inside that, on the cervix wall, eh? to see if. It's okay. Yeah. So tell us, you had something you were appealing to. Yeah, I was appealing. Nikipata gaina. There's this follow-up clinic I need to. Yeni nikuetu nikifuatilia until two years are over. That is when I'll be okay. 
How many times have you gone after that? I have gone uh, once. Once. Yeah. And how many times are you supposed to go in the like in the four, next two years? Twice, four times. Twice, twice, twice per year. Twice per year. Yeah, after every six months. Okay. Yeah. And you've just gone once. Once. So three more times. Mm-hmm. So why haven't you gone money? Yeah. What are they asking for? I need to have cash. How much? Like pap goes for around two k, mm-hmm. and then biopsy. I don't know how much they charge for biopsy here. There, how much were they charging? Over there, mm. two hundred. That 200. is around uh, five thousand four hundred Kenyan shillings. Wow. Yeah. So around five thousand plus two, so around seven thousand per mm-hmm. every mm-hmm. six months. Yeah. And you said you you're not working now. No, currently I'm not working. You can work. It's because you've not found yeah, anything yeah. to do. So right now, tell us. You you said you can do whatever, but exactly uh-huh. what work would you wish? Maybe you say, are you are you do you want someone to be calling you? Maybe come wash my clothes. Come. Am are you looking for maybe employment? A permanent job. If permanent. I get a permanent job, it's better. Okay. Yeah. So that one can make you not go to Qatar. Yeah. Meanwhile, you you're in the process. Yeah. Because I have no other option. Mm. I have to leave. Though it's it's kind of stressing because my kids, they really need me now. Because I've been away for like two years. So me leaving them, they are like, Mama, you can't get Oh, God. You see? Like, they really need my presence. Yeah. Mm. Guys, Rose Williams, people, gang. Me, for me, I say, nothing is too small. Mm-hmm. Nothing is too small. Send you one dollar. Send you ten. Send you a hundred. Send you however much you can afford. Or however little. Nothing is too little. Haba na haba ujaza kibaba. I don't know how to say that in English. But maybe little by little, eh? It will make it big. Ha. My God. Yeah. That is where my English has has my arrived. That is where my school fees finish. finish. Yeah. <laughs> so guys, please let us come through for this girl. Really hard working. See, she needs to do all those endoscopy. What are they called? Colposcopy. Col colposcopy. My goodness, and all that, and and the 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 other one. And my son also needs to be checked. No, the sun use the the other the other process. I need colposcopy, biopsy, and pap smear. Pap smear. Yeah. The sun also has that problem. Mm-hmm. The daughter is okay with thank God. Mm-hmm. So guys, let's try and do the hand that gives receives. That's all I say. Always, the hand that gives receives, and when you give to the less fortunate. You just, kind in French, you remember I always tell you I'm a French girl. In French we say, mm-hmm. The hand that gives receive. Uh, I say, no, I, I needed to say this. When you give to the poor, now how do you say that, please? Eh? You're, English, you, you're the one who came from school late. Let us. Hey. Like when you give out, you store in God's store. Yes, yeah, something like that. Yeah. You 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 just so you are just sowing something that you will also reap. Mm-hmm. Hey, yeah. you reap what you sow. So guys, let's let's do something. We can do something. We can we can just changa a little something little. Yes, At yes, least yes. if we can even help the boy go to the hospital yes. or the mom get those uh, maybe even one, just one and maybe yeah. she will hustle for the others mm-hmm, because yeah. the good thing is that it's after every six months. So mm-hmm. if we help her the first one, yeah. maybe the second one she'll have gotten her own yeah. money to do that. Mm-hmm. Thank you so much guys. Thank you. You are always the best. My people, my gang, you're always the best. I believe in you. I trust you. I know that you have never disappointed me. You've come through before for others. Guys, let's come through for this girl. She's awesome. What you my dear? Okay. My last words, huh? May God keep you. May God protect you. And may God, like the kids, 
me by the way i have that big heart for kids i don't know why like whatever my kids have gone through yeah apart to me highlight mm. whatever my kids have mm. gone through i wish not no no any other kid can go that and be strong like they are but i thank god for them and for the big heart they have so i will uh, thank your fans in advance because i know they are going to do marvelous through you and i pray for god to bless them like to double the blessings they have amen yeah and amen. to protect them amen yeah. thank you so much may god come through for mm-hmm. you amen because he is the only one who can sure, heal. Yeah. The doctors will treat, mm-hmm. but God heals. Yeah. So the only thing we can, I can, when I'm going, leave you with is God's blessings. Amen. May he come through for you. Mm-hmm. May he heal you. Yeah. Heal your son. Amen. Even all that depression, the way he stays like this, yeah. and then he's just yeah. getting so stressed up. Mm-hmm. May he come through for you mm-hmm. as the family. So, my dear, for in case anybody wants to reach you mm-hmm. for maybe a word of encouragement, mm-hmm. maybe to send you something small, mm-hmm. please give them your number. I have uh, my number which I'm using for WhatsApp, and uh, I have two numbers. Mm-hmm. That is uh, 0795, mm-hmm. no, wait, 0703, mm-hmm. 105-394. Say it again. Zero seven zero three one zero five three ninety four. That is for calling. Calling. Yeah. And that is also the person number. Yeah. In case you need to send something. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I have my WhatsApp number zero seven ninety five fifty six fifty six double zero. Yes, that one you can reach her via WhatsApp. WhatsApp. Yeah. Tell her something. Encourage her. Yeah, Encourage her. Nice word. Just tell her something and. Thank you so much, guys. Yes. You are awesome. I believe, people, you're going to come through for her. Mm-hmm. Thank you so much in advance. You are awesome. You are blessed. May God bless you going out and you coming in, sure. in Jesus' name. So, until next time, it's adios. Bye. Bye-bye.